what is going on guys welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the like make sure you guys are subscribed all right guys so for today's video i will be talking about the 84th sturges motorcycle rally this event is happening from august 2nd to august 11th this is the 84th year of the sturges motorcycle rally i wanted to make this video today because i was there last year we rode from Los Angeles all the way to South Dakota. And guys, it was one of the best rides I've ever had in my life. It was amazing. The sights were amazing. The event itself was amazing. And I kind of wanted to make this video to give you guys a few pros and cons, you know, a little few tips and tricks and things that can get you guys ready for Sturges or can help you guys for Sturges this year. Since unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go. Time is very limited with work right now. And the things that I have booked for vacation and stuff, I already used up a lot of my vacation. The little bit of vacation I have left, I am reserving it for Rocky Point. So if anybody's interested in going to Rocky Point, let me know in the comments. DM me. Hit me up on Instagram at Bagger Society. And let's ride, guys. Let's go to Rocky Point. But this video is about Sturges. So I wanted to start off by saying... There's a lot to do in Sturgis, guys. Like, there's a ton. There's a lot of uh, events. There's a lot of riding. There's a lot of places to go. And there's a lot of sight, like, sights to see. So, I think the number one thing you guys should really, really be looking out for before planning your trip there is the location. Make sure the location is spot on where you're able to walk to the rally where you're close enough to start, you know, the trails to go see Mount Rushmore, to go see Deadwood, Rapid City. Everything is far, guys. So you either have to be the planner or you guys have to have somebody that plans this out. So you guys can really maximize the time while you're out there. And like I said, location is key. We were able to stay in someone's backyard he rents out spaces we stayed in somebody's backyard in a tent he had an inflatable bed for us he had extension cords he had a restroom uh, a continental breakfast it was an amazing spot where we stayed at if you guys want more information about that leave it in the comments and i'm gonna you know if anyone's interested i'll, I'll reply to you if not i have a video look up sturgis or i think i named it trip of a lifetime it's a sturges video i can either put it here or here i don't know how to put it up here <clears throat> if i figure it out it's going to be somewhere up here but yeah guys it was a trip of a lifetime for sure the location we stayed in someone's backyard they ran out the spaces which is super dope we were able to walk and then the problem was we ended up getting too excited of being there we were getting drunk so the first few nights we were there we were getting drunk but we were enjoying the event so location is key. Make sure you guys find a good spot to stay at. That's one of the things, one of the things I wanted to talk about. Another thing is you guys have to really be careful out there. In my opinion, there's a ton of people trailering their bikes out there. I don't know if that screams to you guys, maybe a little inexperience or not having as many miles under their belt to ride out there. So don't let anybody dictate your ride. If you feel comfortable at a certain speed and people are so excited trying to smash behind you or acting dumb, move over, let them do their thing, jump back in the lane and continue your ride. Because at the end of the day, it's your ride, it's your trip. Don't let anybody dictate the way you ride out there. You know, like I said, there's people that are gonna be super experienced out there and there's gonna be people that are very inexperienced. <clears throat> So when you go to things like that, you guys always have to be on your toes and always make sure you guys are pretty much watching your surroundings. Make sure you guys know where you're going. Don't, you know, don't be looking at your phone too much. Just always be cautious of your surroundings. With that being said, there is a ton of people that are going to be there. So always be careful with traffic. There's going to be a ton of traffic. There's going to be a lot of people crossing the main rally. Just be cautious. That's one of the things they kept telling me. When you come to a stop sign, make sure both of your feet are grounded on the ground. Look to your left, look to your right. Maybe look to your left again, look to your right and make sure your feet are on the ground because the police out there, they don't fuck around. 
they will give you a ticket for not having your feet planted. Uh, luckily, none of us got in trouble for that because we were advised before we went out there. So look up a few of the rules, you know, before you guys head out there. Follow the speed limits, follow the, the signals, follow everything. I know you're out there, you're going to be excited, it's going to be a great time. But always follow the rules because if not, you will end up in the jail, which the jail is literally right in the middle of the rally. So you guys will end up in jail. Another thing is, guys, time. That's one thing that you guys need out there. You guys need to have enough time to see everything. Like I said, there's going to be a ton of events. There's going to be a bunch of vendors. There's going to be so much happening that you're going to need more than a week to see everything. If you guys have a good planner, plan it out. Like I said, what happened with us, we were getting too drunk the first few nights that we, we were enjoying the rally, but we were getting drunk. Plain and simple. We were just having a great time. We were getting drunk. So... The night, be the day before we rode back is when we went and did the whole thing with Mount Rushmore. We went to Deadwood. It's an all day thing. So make sure you guys really plan it out, space your time out, go right through the day. You know, don't ride too far, come back, party, get your, do your stuff at the rally. And then the next day you're, you're, you're refreshed, ready to go and then go see other stuff. So, like I said, so don't get too drunk out there before you're going to go to like Mount Rushmore, Deadwood, whatever, because it's going to be a long, long day. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the weather. Guys, I don't know how many of you guys actually pay attention to the weather in different states, but you guys have to. In California, it's always sunny. The weather right now is perfect. So... You're going to leave California or wherever you're riding from. And for us, our case was we left California. It was nice. We went to Nevada. That was nice. We went to Utah. That was nice. We stayed in Wyoming at uh, Rock Springs, Wyoming. And it was raining. We booked the hotel. We stayed at the hotel. It was raining that day. As soon as we got there, it started pouring. But... The next morning, the weather was beautiful. So we managed to ride from Wyoming or 20 to 30 miles before we got to Sturgis. Started raining again. So we geared up, put our rain gear. It was a last minute thing for me. So I bought some like next day rain gear from Amazon. And guys, it was stupid. Do not buy Amazon rain gear unless it's expensive. Get yourself some good rain gear because you don't know what the weather's gonna be like. You know, things change quickly. People were saying the weekend, be the whole week before, it was pouring. It was nonstop rain. When we actually got to Sturgis, it was still raining for like maybe like a few hours. Then it stopped. Then the rest of the days was nice and sunny. The weather was perfect. So we were able to enjoy it a little differently than other people that were riding out there in nothing but the rain. So get good rain gear. Pack light. You guys don't need a ton of clothes, which I didn't know. You guys don't need a lot of clothes. Pack light. And if there's things you guys don't think you're going to use and you're like, oh, maybe I am. No, you're not. You're really not going to use that stuff. Just pack your underwear. Put like an extra pair of jeans and a few t-shirts. That's it. You don't need to pack a bunch of stuff besides rain gear and whatever. But pack light because if you want to bring things back and you don't pack light, it's not going to fit in the bike. I had a tour pack in my bags and it, things didn't fit on the way back. So pack light. That's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. Guys, the motorcycle rally is an amazing time. I had a blast with my homie Enrico, my homie David. It was such a great time. I got to see people out there that I knew. Um, we got to ride. It was just such an amazing time. Like I said, unfortunately, my time is limited, so I won't be able to ride out there. I'm throwing it out there. If anyone has an extra bike for me to ride out there, the 9th, 10th, and 11th of August, most likely the 9th and 10th, because the 11th, we're probably going to fly back in. But the 9th and 10th, if anyone has an extra bike out there for me so I could ride with my girl, let me know in the comments, DM me on Instagram, or email me. 
and I will buy all the beer you want to drink. I'll buy you some food and then we'll be able to fly in with my girl on Thursday night or Friday morning if possible. If I have a bike out there, then yes, I will definitely fly out. But if I can't find a bike, then I'm most likely not going to go. Guys, Sturgis is a great time. Enjoy it. You guys have fun. Be safe. You know, pack all these extra tools that you hopefully don't have to use. Make sure you guys pack uh, tire uh, patch kits. Make sure you guys pack some of those. Make sure you guys have fun. Enjoy it. It's a long way from home. You know, don't act dumb because you will end up in jail. I'm not going to give no examples of that, but I knew I know somebody that ended up in jail at Sturgis, and it wasn't fun, guys, so that's, a, that's another story we're going to talk about. But for now, guys, I just wanted to make this quick video, let you guys know a few things to do before the rally. It's going to be a blast. So much cool shit to do. The food sucks. I'm going to let you guys know right now. The food's going to suck. So that's one of the things that I wasn't impressed with. The food just sucked. There was a bar that had like a piano or something. I forgot the name of it. Go to that one. It's right at the rally. They have a piano. They're singing. They play all kinds of like songs like hip hop, rock, rap, whatever the hell on a piano. They have the best wings. So go there. Everything else sucked. The food sucked. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys have fun. Enjoy it. If you guys have an extra bike, DM me and leave it in the comments. And then if it's possible, I'll head over there. If not, I'm going to stick my ass over here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys pick something up from it. And like I said, guys, be safe. Enjoy the ride. And um, to the next one. Peace.